The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. Enjoy yourselves while you can, because your days are numbered, you fools. <laughs> What's cracking, beautiful people? Welcome to episode four of the Sunshine Let's Play series. It's been a while since we last hopped on this game, goddamn. Yeah, the last time we played this game was back in late July. Sorry for the long wait on these videos, viewers. We got preoccupied with other games for a while, but we'll try to pump these episodes out more consistently going forward. At least I can finally suffer alongside you guys in Super Mario Sunshine. I swear, I've got such a strong love-hate relationship with this game. Oh, that's right. You weren't here for episodes one and two, and you arrived late for episode three. Can we make George do some of the secret levels now that he's here, please? Sorry, Donnie, but you're the designated secret level bitch, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Oh, come on, Donnie. I thought you were the platforming champion, man. What happened to that? Man, fuck you two. I mean, yeah, I said that, but I was just, uh, yeah, you know what? Fine. Since I'm obviously the best platformer in the group, I'll just do all of the secret levels then. Thank God, because I'm not touching those secret levels, not even with a 10-foot pole. Haha, -ha, I agree with that, George. Damn, I knew you'd be a natural at throwing bananas, Barry. Good work. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Joe? Oh, come on, Barry. He's just trying to compliment your item-throwing skills, right, Joey? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, Don. Yeah, I call bullshit, but I'll just let it slide for now. Holy crap, Obama. You want to know what's honestly bullshit? You see that bird that flew over you? I think you have to spray one of those bastards to get a blue coin. Please tell me you're joking, George. I wish I was, Barry. I really wish I was. But unfortunately, you do need to spray that bird, and a specific one at that, if I'm remembering right. I don't know what these developers were smoking when they came up with some of these obtainment methods for blue coins, but I don't think I want anything to do with it. I don't blame you there, Donnie. They could have been using galaxy gas or some stupid shit like that. What in tarnation is galaxy gas, Joey? Actually, forget that I even asked. I don't want to know anymore. And let's leave it that way, if we know what's good for us. Let's drop the drug talk and focus on the game instead, fellas. The YouTube overlords won't like us discussing that kind of shit. Oh, yeah. YouTube will get all up in arms over drug talk and harmless swearing. But when it comes to people running those stupid and sometimes really disgusting or downright thirst-trapping fake mobile game ads, they allow it because they're being paid to run those ads on their platform. Yeah, makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay, you need to be careful, Donnie. YouTube might be listening in on us, you know? Yeah, the YouTube overlords can eat my ass. You hear that, YouTube overlords? Eat my ass, you fucktards! Well, I guess humans had to play with fire at some point to figure out all the uses we have for it today. Yeah, Donnie, you're playing with fire right about now, and they're fucking blazing right now. You've got to relax, my guy. My ass, I need to calm down. Do you guys really want to keep coming across those stupid-ass fake mobile game ads while you scroll through YouTube shorts at night? Really? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Seeing those Ebony the King's return ads all the time gets so irritating. I should probably ban them somehow. Maybe I can pass a bill that makes it so companies can't make misleading advertisements. If you're gonna do it, Joe, please do it before your presidency is up. Because when I take office again, I don't want to go through that headache. I've got bigger fish to fry. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Donnie. You still need to watch out for Kamala. She might win the election if you aren't careful, buddy. You need to lock in on this election. Oh, don't worry, Barry. I've got a plan to win this whole thing. Just you wait and see. Yeah, please win it, Dawn. She's batshit crazy, and I don't think America would be able to handle it. Fair enough. All right, now that you're done with Isol Delfino, Barry, I think I'll take a crack at Gelato Beach. I still wonder if those cataquacks taste any good. Okay, why the hell do you want to eat a cataquack? Barry's over here pondering the real questions on God. Cataquacks just look so edible, man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what do you think humans thought when they discovered chickens? They probably wondered if that shit tasted good and then found out. Well, I guess I can't argue with that logic. Holy mother of ass, why is that wiggler so cute? Oh my God. They do look pretty cute, though. Too bad you're going to have to kill their ass soon. Well, one of us will at least. 
I don't think Joey here could do it. Hell no, I wouldn't. I can't do that to such a cute creature. Well, what if it's pissed off and wanting to eat your insides, Joe? Well, guess I'll just die then. That's crazy. Absolutely wild behavior. Okay, come on, Joe. You know, wigglers are dickheads when they're pissed off, man. Nope, I refuse to hurt a precious wiggler. Hashtag wiggler lives matter. Hashtag Joe Biden 2026. You sure you'll even remember to run that year, buddy? <laughs> uh, wait, what am I gonna be running? It's nothing, Joey. Just lock back into the game and get those cataquacks off of the mirrors. Oh, okay, just let me get these blue coins first. Well, while Joey takes care of the blue coins, let's announce the question for today's video. If you were given the choice to learn a particular skill at a fast rate and master it in a short time, what would it be and why? Leave your responses in the comment section down below. Damn, that's a good one, Barry. I think I'd like to become a master marksman. That way I can always hit my mark when I'm out hunting with friends or family. Good one, George. I think I'd like to become an excellent chef so I can whip up my own first-class meals whenever I want, since I can easily get the ingredients needed. My cooking would be so good that I'd even make chefs like Gordon Ramsay cream his pants. I'd learn how to create my own ice cream at home so I don't have to go out and buy some every time the White House runs out of it. Interesting choices, gentlemen. I think I'd learn how to draw extremely well so I can start my own fantasy adventure webtoon series. I feel like I could create something really badass. That's a really base choice, Obama, but hold up a minute. How the fuck do you manage to run out of all that ice cream at the White House, Joe? There's supposed to be a lifetime supply of that shit underneath the White House, right? Yeah, about that. A lifetime supply of ice cream isn't enough for me. I might have eaten it all. How the hell did you go through a lifetime supply of ice cream in only two years? Even that shit was around back when I was in the Oval Office, Joe. God damn, man. Joe's stomach is a bottomless pit when it comes to ice cream for real, ha <laughs> ha! Come on, guys. Cut me some slack. I'm just a healthy, growing boy. Have you looked in the mirror lately, Joe? You don't fit the description of a healthy, growing boy. You're more like a fossil that's somehow still breathing at this point. You guys might not see it, but I'm as young and youthful as I can possibly be. Name one thing that indicates that I could possibly be really old. Your dementia, dummy. Uh, what's a dementia again? Okay, anyways, uh... Have you guys taken a look at the channel poll? A lot of people seem to love our Sunshine and Pokemon series the most right now. Think we should focus on those? That would probably be our best move. Although, what do you viewers think about us dropping a random video from time to time? Like that Zenless Zone Zero video, for example. It might be a one-time thing unless there's a lot of demand for it, which in that case, we would consider making it a long-term series. People like gotcha games, right guys? I mean, gotcha games do seem really popular. I always see Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail ads, so I would think they'd be really popular. Oh my gosh, we should definitely play Zenless on Zero. All the waifus are so fucking hot. Oh my God. Oh hell no, quit gooning around Joe and focus on getting that shine sprite. <laughs> Joe is so goofy, man, I swear. But anyways, it's kind of sad to see Noel the Mortal Fate so low on the pole. I mean, it managed to beat Zenless Zone Zero, so that's something. I guess it makes sense, Don. It doesn't seem like RPG Maker games are insanely popular as they used to be many years ago, back when Markiplier was playing the shit out of them. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, shit. Noel seems really damn good to me. I honestly can't wait for us to play it again. That makes you and me both, George. Yeah, me too. Also, uh, I know we've got to get this shit out of the way, but if you've made it this far into the video, how about giving us a like on the video, perhaps even dropping a comment down below too, and a subscription too, so you don't miss another upload from us. Okay, cringe like and subscribe, pitch over guys, back to the video. Thanks for doing the thing for me, Don. But anyways, did you guys hear about the Pal World lawsuit shit? Nintendo's suing Pal World, apparently. What do you fellas think of that? Pretty fucking late, if you ask me. Pal World came out like, what? Early this year, right? It took Nintendo this long to notice their existence? Like, really? Yeah, Nintendo is fashionably late to this one. On what grounds are they suing Pal World for, though? Well, all we know so far is that the grounds they're being sued on is based on multiple patent infringements. Uh, whatever those are to Nintendo. I swear it's gonna be some, oh, this Pokemon looks somewhat similar to this Pal from Pal World. Boom! Copyright type shit. Honestly, just let the Pal World devs breathe and make their bag, man. The only thing those two series have in common is that you can train and capture creatures. That's it. Nintendo has no ownership of that shit. I agree. Also, here's the controller, Donnie, my boy. Ah, thanks, Joe. Guess I'll get this next secret level done with since I'm the best platformer out of all of us. 
Yeah, you do that, Dawn. But anyways, yeah. I don't know, dude. When I played a bit of Pal World, I thought that shit was fun. Also, the creatures with guns was really funny to me. Very enjoyable. It's funny how you can put your pals to work. That's some funny shit. Of course, you'd find putting cute creatures into forced labor funny, Don. Hey, man, it's fine if they're not real. There's a difference between fiction and reality. Unfortunately, there's a strange people who somehow can't differentiate between both, though. Though this argument's applicability depends on the context of what it's being applied to, though. For this case, very applicable. Hey, don't fall off, Don. Nah, I got this shit in the fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. So, how long do you guys think he's going to be at it for? I'd say, hmm, five minutes tops. I bet you $20 that he'll be in there for 20 minutes, Barry. I bet you all the ice cream in my fridge, Joe. All right, bet. 20 minutes later. All right, I'm back, fellas, and I'm ready to beat that secret level's ass. All right, all that ice cream is now mine, Barry. Hooray! God damn it. All right, you got it this time, Donnie. Don't fall, please. No, nah, I got this by the ass this time. Don't worry, boys. Yeah, eat my glorious ass, you fucking game, yeah. Imagine if you tried to do some speedrunning movement here and went for a dive and fell off trying to get the shine sprite. Ha 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 ha. Oh God, that'd be so damn tragic. I'd fucking combust and explode. Well, damn. Good thing you won then, Don. Yeah, anyways, here's the controller, George. Feel free to get any shine you want next. Thanks, Donnie. Hmm. I think I'll do whatever the next level is for Gelato Beach. What the hell was that? Oh, damn. My bad, guys. I was just opening up Honkai Star Rail so I could do my dailies while George plays. Come on, Joe. You can do your dailies later, man. We've got to watch George play. Yeah, come on, Joe. Your waifus will unfortunately be waiting for you after the recording session, my guy. Don't worry, Joe. I'll farm my dailies and stuff with you after the recording session, so you aren't alone on that. Really? Oh, thank you, George. You're a real friend. Oh, wait a minute. Are you going to attack my cute Wiggler? Yeah, we have to, Joe. Wiggler is going on a rampage on Gelato Beach right now, so we have to stop him no matter the cost before the Islanders get hurt, man. Damn it. No, there's got to be another way other than killing his ass. Come on, guys. All right, look, Joe, that stupid fucking green worm thing is a menace to society and it's going to kill and eat everyone's flesh on the island if we don't put a stop to it. Plus, it's just a fictional creature, so who gives a shit if it dies, man? I guess you're right, Don. Well, it does look very aggressive right now. Maybe it'd be better if this thing was out of everyone's hair, as cute and cuddly as it is. That's the spirit, Joey. Woohoo, and down goes Wiggler. Anyways, y'all want to play some more Mario Kart Double Dash later? I'm itching to beat Obama this time on his favorite course. Oh, hell yeah, count me in. We definitely got to wipe that smirk Obama makes every time he wins right off his face. Ha ha ha. Oh, count me in. I love playing some Double Dash. Ha 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 ha. I relish the challenge, boys. If any one of you can manage to beat me in a race, I'll treat you all to some Texas Roadhouse again. Oh, shit. You hear that, George? That's your cue, cowboy. Put those cowboy boots on. And let's kick ass and double dash later so we can feast tonight. Oh, I promise you this, Donnie. We will be feasting tonight. Joe, be on your A game later. We need to kick Obama's ass this time. Don't worry, fellas. I will be locked in as long as I get my ice cream intake before the match. Speaking of ice cream, Joe, you will uh, share some of that ice cream you won off me with the rest of us, right? Oh, come on, Barry. Of course I will. You all are my friends, man. Shoot. Thanks, man. By the way, are y'all getting Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on launch day? I think that's October 11th, if I'm recalling right. Oh, you bet your ass I'm getting that shit. Certified OG Dragon Ball fan for life. Oh yeah, that game is dropping October 11th. I'm so damn hyped, man. We definitely should sit down and play through the story mode together for a good ass nostalgia trip. Oh shit, we gotta play through the what if stories too since they're coming back. Dude, don't even get me started on the what-if stories. Those are absolute bangers. Man, y'all are getting me so hyped for this game all over again. Unfortunately, as much as I want to keep this video going, I'm afraid we're going to have to end the video here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to keep up with our content. Please take care of yourselves out there, guys. It's rough these days. So please get back home safe always. And with that, we'll be seeing you later, guys. Take care.